Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic menstruation. In the previous video, we learned how to find the area and perimeter of a segment. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the area and perimeter of composite shapes. Composite shapes. Sometimes, a shape may consist of more than one plane figure. These are called composite shapes. We've learned about plane figures. Examples are quadrilaterals, circles, and triangles. We've learned how to find the area and perimeter of these plane figures. Sometimes, we may be given a shape that contains more than one of these plane figures. So, for example, we can have a triangle on a rectangle or a triangle in a circle. These shapes are called composite shapes. To find the area of these shapes, you split them or you divide them into regular shapes like triangles, square, circle, etc. Then you find their areas separately. So to find the area of a composite shape, you split them into the regular shapes that we know like triangles, squares or circles. Then you find their areas separately. Let's pick an example and see how to do this. So, we have this shape here and we are going to find the area. To find the area of this shape, you can see that if we extend this line here to meet this line, we have divided it into two rectangles. So, I'm going to call this rectangle A, then I'll call this rectangle B. If I find the area of rectangle A, and I add it to the area of rectangle B, I'll find the area of this shape here. In the same way, you can also extend this line to meet this line here. When you do that, I can call this area, I can call this figure here, figure 1, then I'll call this figure 2. You can clearly see from the diagram that figure 1 is a rectangle, and figure 2 is also a rectangle. So if I find the area of figure 1, which is a rectangle, and I add it to the area of figure 2, which is also a rectangle, I'll get the area of the shape. So you can use either one of these and you'll be able to solve the question. Let's go ahead. For now, or to help me solve this question, I'm going to extend this line from here to this side. Now look at something here. We can see from this diagram that the dimensions have been given to us. From this end to that end has been given to us as 8 centimeters. And from this end to this end has also been given to us as 4 centimeters. What that means is that this remaining side here is also 4 centimeters. Since 4 centimeters plus 4 centimeters will give us 8 centimeters. Okay. I'm going to call this rectangle here A, then I also call this rectangle here B. So the shape, sorry, the area of this shape is the area of A plus the area of B. A is a rectangle with a length of 4 centimeters and a breadth of 10 centimeters. When we are learning rectangle, when we are learning about rectangles, we learned that area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the breadth. The length of this rectangle is four centimeters and the breadth is ten centimeters. So the area of this rectangle is equal to ten centimeters times four centimeters, which will give us forty centimeters squared. So this is the area of the shape A. Let's go on to shape B. Shape B is also another rectangle with a length of 4 cm and a breadth of 2 cm. Once again, the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. So the area of shape B is 4 cm times 2 cm and this will give us 8 cm squared. 
So we now have area of shape A and area of shape B. So to find the area of this shape or the, to find the total area of this shape is equal to the area of shape A plus the area of shape B. Area of A is 40 cm squared and area of B is 8 cm squared. So if you add them, you are going to have 48 cm squared. What it means is that the area of this shape here is 48 cm squared. So we have the area as 48 cm squared. So whenever you are being given a composite shape, all you need to do is to split them into regular shapes. Then you find the area of these regular shapes and you add them to get the area of the composite shape. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve another question on finding the area and perimeter of composite shapes. Bye-bye.